I am Kuda Mapeza. I am an interdisciplinary world builder. So I write and I theater make and I make music and also act. And those are usually, those are the worlds that I traverse in creatively. There's never been a time where I haven't been doing theater. A version of theater, whether it is writing something or acting in something or writing music for something. I've always been jumping around the theatre world in some sort of way. I, my pathway has been consistent. It's, it's always been in the direction of theatre making or, or the creative field, I guess, but just touching on a bunch of different aspects. I'm just so intrigued by like a multi-sensory experience for audiences. What I'm most passionate about in terms of theatre making is the undeniable feeling of a bunch of people being in one place experiencing one thing. I think sometimes with other mediums, you can kind of like lug it off or close your eyes or put it away or change your mind. But with theatre, like you've, you're in a seat and you stay in. Like that is such a privilege to have people sit for an hour or more and listen to what you have to say. And people allowing themselves to, to step out of the, the real world and into this world that's been conjured up by a bunch of other human minds is incredible. What excites me the most about assistant directing on Is God Is is that everybody in the room is so damn talented and so has such rich knowledge. I've just got something to learn from everybody. Everybody. Like, and being able to be with a bunch of people who all really want to tell this story of great highs and lows and hilarity and like and deep, deep feeling. And to be able to experience the range of human emotions with a group of people who want to do the same thing is really empowering and really special. And especially uh, a story like Is God Is that asks for everybody to push themselves outside of their comfort zones um, is, I just, I can't believe it's happening. I'm learning more than I even anticipated working alongside Sinzin Shari. The two of them are such a dynamic duo. The way that they direct is so different yet so complementary. I remember I was sitting and having a conversation with them about just how, how they got here to directing. And so much of it is really akin to why I find myself here. It's a, it's a, it's a matter of seeing the way that things have been done and going, oh yeah, I think that, you know, I've learned from that lesson and that lesson and that lesson on what to do and what not to do. And like, let's create a space that is empowering for, uh, for people of color, that is empowering for those who are making the story and holistic throughout the process. There was a time where a couple of actors were really grappling with the text and and their positions within within this big, wide, <laughs> is God is world. The way that Zinzi and Shari were able to humanize such an epic um, process, uh, the way that they are able to tend to both the micro and the macro of a production process is something that I I, I will take with me. <laughs> they, they are able to hold actors with such tenderness and, and rigor at the same time. And with such clear vision, but such flexibility. The advice that I'd give to aspiring theater makers and directors is you don't know how your actions now are going to impact you in five years. So go for everything and go hard. <laughs> and make note of both your wins and your challenges. Write everything down. Take note of everything. Know what you're about is probably one of the biggest ones. Know what you care about and follow that. It's really hard to fake, <laughs> to fake caring. So if you know what you're about, if you know what you care about and you know what you don't care about, know what you want to explore within your, within your creativity, know what you're not interested in, that all of those answers will craft where you're gonna go.